All right, so we officially have the full details and animations for the next Dokkan Festival unit coming to JP. And it's a character that I don't think a lot of people were expecting. At least I definitely wasn't. I thought this time they would go for something a little bit more hype, you know, a little bit more mainstream, but I'm definitely okay with this. Uh, I always like it when they surprise us and this was definitely a surprise. But of course, if you guys did predict that Dokkan Fest Yamcha was next, then good job. Good job. So yeah, in this video, we're going to break down his full details and animations as well as the details for his side banner unit. This guy right here, a tech summonable Yajirobe. Now he wouldn't be the first summonable Yajirobe in the game. We do have a couple of R's and SR's, but he would obviously be the first usable Yajirobe. And not only is he usable, but he's actually amazing. I did check out his details before uh, I started recording and this guy might be the best support in the entire game, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, let's quickly check out these animations before we get into the details. So let me just pause my music here and full screen this and enjoy guys. ここらで You know what? Yo, four animations um, focused on Yamcha. I gotta say, they look pretty damn good. They look pretty damn good. I mean, I came in with like zero expectations, you know, like it's Yamcha, right? But they did a pretty solid job, guys. They really did. I love the Yajirobe animations. I gotta say, like, I think this man stole the show, but focusing on the Dokkan Festival unit for a second, um, his animations are actually really nice. You know, um, they're as epic, they're as hype as I think they possibly could have made Yamcha animations. The OST sounds great and uh, definitely helps in making this guy feel a lot more hype. Now, am I overall really hyped for this release? I don't think so, you know, like I definitely will summon for him when he drops on global, but I can't like sit here and be, and, you know, tell you guys that I'm gonna go like all out for this guy that like I really want him or anything like that because that'd be lying. It's still Yamcha, but he looks good. He looks good. And the Hachirobe animations, I mean, what is there to say, man? He's awesome. He, he looks great. He, he, he stole the show. So, Yajirobe, Yamcha, uh, off to a pretty good start animation-wise. Now, let's check out their details. And, uh, of course, as you guys know, we're getting them from the homie Goresh on Twitter because I can't read Japanese. And uh, he's just amazing with these translations, man. I mean, it's, like, honestly crazy how quickly he provides the translations as soon as the details drop on the JP Twitter account. So a big shout out and thank you to Goresh for providing us with the details. 
And we'll start here with the Yamcha first. His leader skill is Warriors Raised on Earth, which is a new category, or Saiyan Saga, category ski plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 170%, and an extra HP, attack, and defense plus 30% to characters also belonging to the Earthlings. Uh, and although, uh, I think there's also another category. Hold on. I think he's missing one category here. Uh, Turtle School. Turtle School. So yeah, it's actually... HP, attack, and defense plus 30% in addition to characters that belong to the Earthlings or Turtle School categories. And then uh, Super Attack raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage with a high chance to stun the enemy. And passive plays entrance animation during first attacking turn if there are five or more warriors raised on Earth category allies on the team other than this character and gains key plus two and attack and defense plus 150% for 4 turns. Key plus 2, attack and defense plus 150%, and then gains an additional attack and defense plus 30% for every attack performed, max of 150%. Medium chance to perform a critical hit, high chance to evade enemy attacks, performs an additional attack that has a high chance to become a super attack, and performs another additional attack that has a high chance to become a super attack during the same turn in which an enemy attack was evaded by this character gains an additional 10% chance to evade enemy, enemy attacks for each super attack performed during the turn. Okay, so a lot to take in. Um, I think the concern going in was that this guy could go in one of two ways, right? He could either be something like the AGL Captain Ginyu, the Ginyu Goku, where, you know, upon release, he was one of the best units in the game, or he could have become something like is Raditz, you know, where it's the worst combination of things. It's an un unhyped character, you know, that nobody really was excited for, and also a really bad unit, right? So, just based on my first impressions, this guy is definitely more of the Captain Ginyu mold because he looks very, very powerful. Um, he's essentially getting. Uh, let's see. Well, okay, so one thing about him is that. You do need to be running a full Warriors Raised on Earth team, essentially, to get the most out of him. And when you do that, he's getting, yeah, this buff right here, key plus 2, attack and defense plus 150% for 4 turns. He's getting the additional key plus 2, uh, attack and defense plus 150%. And then, he's also getting up to another 150% attack and defense after performing 5 attacks. And on top of that, he has the uh, medium chance to crit, which is 30%. He has a 50% chance to dodge. And then he gets 10% more chance to dodge with each super attack performed during the turn. So if you perform 3 or 4 supers, that's potentially up to 80 or 90% dodge chance. And then he gets um, yeah, additional supers, he gets this uh, additional attack that has a high chance, which is 50% to become a super. And then if you evade an attack that turn, then he also gets an additional uh, attack with a high chance to become a super. So in theory, this guy could be launching up to four supers in a turn. He's getting a ton of attack and defense. Um, so he's going to be hitting really hard. And he's getting a lot of defense too, right? So like, he shouldn't be bad defensively. I don't think he's going to be a defensive monster by any means because he's not stacking defense. He's not actually even raising defense on the super, which kind of sucks, I got to say. Um... If he raised attack and defense for one turn because he's launching so many supers, that would make him a lot more tanky during that turn. But that is counteracted by the fact that he's getting such a high dodge chance that he's going to be dodging a lot of attacks, you know? So it might not really matter that his defense is not going to be, like, amazing. It should still be good, but not amazing. And his offense is going to be... Off the charts, man. He's going to hit really hard. This guy's going to do a lot of damage. So, uh, first impressions, very, very positive. Am I ready to say he's the best TUR in the game? No, I'm not, but I think he's going to be top three, you know, like best TURs in the game for sure. So, yeah, uh, that's the passive. Let's talk about his active skill, which is the extra large spirit ball condition, able to be used once four or more attacks have been evaded, or when all allies attacking the same turn belong to the Warriors Raised on Earth category. The effect is, causes ultimate damage, and all attacks are guaranteed to hit during the turn 
of activation. Links are tur uh, Turtle School, Solid Support, Infighters, E-Fighters, Shocking Speed, Kamehameha, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Warriors Raised on Earth, Saiyan Saga, Earthlings, Turtle School, Worthy Rivals, and Kamehameha. So, that is your Dokkan Fest Yamcha. Like I said, first impressions, um, just an incredibly strong unit. Uh, he is going to be a little bit limited by his category, which is Warriors Raised on Earth, which is similar to, you know, Captain Ginyu, where he's going to be at his best on a Ginyu Force team, right? So I think that's kind of his uh, limitation, but he's so good that I think they had to do something like that just to make him a little bit more balanced, I guess. Um, and yeah, man, if you run him on this team, he is going to be pretty insane <laughs> he's gonna be pretty insane so that is the Yamcha now let's talk about the goat Yajirobe um no leader skill here uh I'm gonna assume it's gonna be something like you know warriors raised on earth uh category T plus three HP attack and defense plus 130 percent most likely um but yeah the leader skill doesn't matter too much super attack uh, sword draw slash massively raises defense for one turn. I like that and causes supreme damage and seals super attack Passive key plus three attack and defense plus a hundred and fifty percent all allies key plus one and attack and defense plus thirty percent Other than this character gains an additional defense plus a hundred and twenty percent and all allies Other than this character gains an additional key plus one and attack and defense plus twenty percent for three turns when collecting key spheres as the third attacker in a turn. So essentially, he's the ultimate floating support unit, guys. He's giving you key plus two attack and defense plus 50% to all allies as the third attacker. And of course, for most support units, you're floating them, right? You're putting them in that third slot. So Bandai, I guess, recognize this and they're like, yeah, you put him in the third slot. He's your floater support unit. He's going to be literally one of the best supports in the entire game. Q plus 2 attack and defense plus 50% to all allies with no category restriction or type restriction is crazy. That's a crazy, crazy support passive. Of course, the only thing that, you know, I don't like is the fact that he doesn't get it himself. It's for the other units on the rotation, but I guess it's a, it's a fine trade-off for such a crazy support passive, right? And uh, on top of that, we're getting... Let me see. Uh, collecting key spheres as third attacker. Gains an additional attack plus 150% and a great chance to perform a critical hit when performing a super attack as the third attacker. In a turn, once again, meant to be the floater. Gain a great chance to evade enemy attacks after receiving an attack as the uh, third attacker in a turn. Um, oh, okay, so basically the first time he gets hit, uh, he won't have that great chance to dodge, but after, when he comes back, right, for the second time, he'll have a 70% chance to dodge attacks. Uh, survives KO attacks once per turn, and then recovers 10% HP at the end of turn. So, this part right here, right, the surviving KO attacks, um, and this is something that can be repeated multiple times, right, because it's once per turn. That's almost like... That's almost like a uh, revival skill in a way, right? Except it's only for himself and it's not as good because you're not getting as much HP back, you know, upon revival. But it, it's it's going to be super clutch, guys. It's going to be super clutch on some of the harder events of the game like the Cell Max event or Red Zone or something to that effect. I mean, he is just the ultimate floating unit, man. He's the ultimate floater. I don't think there's a better floater in the game right now than Yajirobe. Um, he's just such a good support, man. So if you're running any team that this guy can, you know, belong to, um, I feel like there's no reason to not include him because he's just, he's going to be so good. He, he's just, like, I love this unit. I mean, not only the fact that it's a Yajirobe, but the fact that they made him so, so good. They made him so, so useful is incredible so yeah we got the passive right there and he also of course he does have a active skill which is the senzu bean 
um, can be activated once five or more turns have elapsed from start of battle when there is another Warriors Raised on Earth category ally attacking the same turn and HP is 40% or below once only. And the effect is fully recovers HP and recovers, or sorry, removes all status ailments from all allies. So it's essentially the uh, Senzu Bean support item. You're getting an extra Senzu Bean and that can also be very clutch. So he's helping you stay alive. He's dodging attacks like crazy. He's providing amazing support. He's sealing the enemy as well. Um, what more can you ask for, man, from a slot three unit? There's really nothing else he could be doing. I mean, he could be doing like tons and tons of damage, which he's not going to. But outside of that, um, there's literally nothing else to ask for from a support unit. So. He's awesome. Links are Flea, Coward, Infighter, Tough as Nails, Solid Support, More Than Meets the Eye, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Warriors Raised on Earth, Earthlings, Saiyan Saga, and Saviors. So at this point, I don't really know who is more impressive to me, man. Like between Yajirobe and Yamcha, they're both pretty insane. But the fact that, you know, Yajirobe is a non Dokkan Fest banner unit. Um, I think it's almost even more impressive, but I think both of them will be extremely, extremely good. Um, obviously, run them both on the same team on this Warriors Raised on Earth team. I think this team will be able to probably clear all the events in the game if you have like the right units in it. Uh, but these two will carry, so yeah, it should be a very powerful team, guys. I haven't even seen the units, but you know, you can assume it's going to be. Uh, Goku's, it's gonna be basically all, like most of the hybrid Saiyans and obviously all the Earthlings units as well, right? So, um, should be a pretty good category, should be a very, very strong team. I'm excited for this Dokkan Fest, even though Yamcha, once again, is not the most hype character. The fact that both of these guys are this good, uh, makes me intrigued at least about this Dokkan Festival. So, that's gonna do it, guys. Uh, those are the details for Yajirobe. And Yamcha, thank you once again to Goresh for posting the translations. And uh, guys, let me know in the comments what you think about these two units, uh, the animations, anything else you might want to, you know, talk about. Leave it in the comments. And that's it from me. That's all I got to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out